Good morning. Good morning to those of you here in person and to those who are joining us from home and also we're going to remember the people at Mo Ranch as well. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. All right, the news is we have a guest minister, Margaret Desmond. She's a native Houstonian who's moving back to Houston after serving churches in Iowa, Ohio, and the Golden Triangle. She serves with uh, Reverend Harris on the Committee on Ministry and will be representing the Presbytery of New Covenant at this year's General Assembly in June. So we welcome her. I'm new here. <laughs> But I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of God, by the power of the Spirit. So let us greet one another. In Jesus' name, the peace of Christ be with you. And also with you. Please join me in uh, the call to worship. Follow on the screen along with me. Ah, there. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. We will, we will sing praises, praises to the Lord with the lyre and the sound of the horn. We will sing you a new song, O God for the marvelous things you have done. Let us, Let us worship, worship God. God.
and for the prayer of the day. O God of power and majesty, as the sea roars, your name is praised. Waves pounding the shore remind us of your grandeur. Be your create, by your creative design, birds fly, fish swim, and creatures in the forests and meadows leap and run. All creation chants and praise of your plan for them. As you make our joy complete in the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ our Savior, we worship you with hearts, hands, and voices in songs of glad adoration. And we all say, Amen. Amen. <clears throat> My new friends, the proof of God's amazing love is this. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, each and every one of us. Christ rose for us, each and every one. Christ reigns in power for us, for our family, for our churches, for our nation. Christ even prays for us. Let us turn to God in humbleness and confess our sin using the words you will see on the screen. And the people prayed, Almighty God, you have raised Jesus from death to life and crowned him Lord of all. We confess that we have not bowed before him or acknowledged his rule in our lives. We have gone along with the ways of the world and failed to give him the glory. Forgive us and raise us from sin. 
that we may be your faithful people, obeying the commands of our Lord Jesus Christ, who rules the world and is the head of the church, his body. Beloved of God, the saying is true and worthy of full acceptance that Christ died to save sinners. Friends, believe the promise of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. And if you'll remain standing, We'll sing the next hymn. I think you'll know this one.
our prayer for illumination today. O oh God, as we fully experience the good news of Easter and look toward the coming of the Spirit at Pentecost, open your hearts and minds to your word dwelling within us, calling us to unity in Christ. Amen. Our scripture reading today is from 1 John um, chapter 4, verses 18 to 21. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. We love because he lo first loved us. Those who say, I love God, and hate their brothers and sisters are liars. For those who do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. The commandment we have from him is this, those who love God must love their brothers and sisters also. This is the reading from the Lord's uh, book.
I invite you to listen for God's word to you in this reading of John 15, verses 12 through 17. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing, but I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that the Father will give you whatever you ask of him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. This is the word of the Lord. (laughs) 